Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, where the tarot cards and astrology stars come together to help you. By combining the visual messages of the tarot and the energy of astrology, you can be prepared for the opportunities and challenges coming your way. I hope you will like this video and also press the little bell for notifications when my new videos come out. The tarot card for the first week of the month is the Nine of Wands. It represents strength and determination. The tarot card for the second week is the Six of Swords. It represents moving through emotional difficulty to peace. The tarot card for the third week is the King of Wands. It represents self-expression and new opportunities. And the tarot card for the fourth week is the Two of Cups. It represents a good partnership and balance. Cancer, the tarot card for the first week of the month is the Nine of Wands. It shows a man with a bandage on his head holding a wand in his hand. Eight other wands stand behind him. This card suggests that you have fought and won a number of battles. However, you're not quite done. There may still be a contest ahead, but you are prepared and you have proven yourself. You have strength, determination, and the ability to go the distance. Now, as we look into the astrology, the month begins with Jupiter in your 10th house of career and social status in opposition to Venus in the fourth house of emotional security. Now, this is an excessive combination of energy and suggests that self-control is needed. Your pursuit of status must not interfere with your inner integrity. You must know your spiritual strength and stay focused. The enemy is... Oh, just unfounded optimism. Now, Mercury will go direct in your third house, which can help with finding answers and absorbing important information. And Mercury will trine Pluto in your seventh house, which em empowers your ability to communicate important ideas with the public and with partners. The tarot card for the second week of the month is the Six of Swords. This card shows a woman and a child being taken across a body of water by a man. The water on the right side is rough, which suggests past difficulties, but the water ahead is calm. This signifies you are leaving a difficult emotional situation and will soon find better conditions in your life. Your emotions will heal and you will be prepared for the future. Now, as we look into the astrology, the second week opens with Pluto going direct in your seventh house of partners. Now, this may bring you an opportunity to bring needed change to personal relationships. You can follow your intuition and eliminate misunderstandings. The full moon will ask for cooperation on career projects that open you to personal security. The sun and Venus will trine Saturn in your eighth house, focusing your emotions and your intuition on financial and intimate growth. <laughs> and Mars will square Neptune. Now, this warns you not to rely on pure ambition. You must have a viable plan for success that is based on reality, not dreams. The tarot card for the third week of the month is the King of Wands. This is the second month in a row the king has had this position, so there may be a pattern here. He sits on a powerful throne and looks ready for action. This is a creative energy that represents a need to follow your vision and goals. Find a new opportunity 
for you have the energy and ability to take it on. Use the power of positive thinking to help achieve success. This is an excellent card for problem solving and asserting your inner power. You may take a chance or make a new investment. Now, as we look into the astrology, the third week brings a complex Sun, Venus, Mars, Pluto setup that can keep you guessing which way to go. <laughs> the Sun and Venus are in your fourth house of emotional foundations, and they both trine Mars in the twelfth house of spirituality. Now, this can bring a sense of wholeness, a bit of good news, and an opportunity to make yourself feel a bit more secure. So, support your spiritual feelings by deepening yourself. But there is a square from the Sun and Venus to Pluto in your seventh house of business and personal relationships. It warns you to control your insecurities. Make sure you share feelings with your partners. The tower card for the last week of the month is the Two of Cups. This card shows two people sharing a loving cup. Above them is a winged lion's head and a staff on which two snakes are intertwined. This suggests a balance of opposite forces on both the physical and spiritual levels. This card can suggest a new partnership or love relationship coming your way. It should be beneficial since this card does represent balance. Now, as we look into the astrology, the fourth week begins with a new moon in the fifth house, while Saturn has gone direct in your eighth house. Now, the moon brings emotional intensity to creativity and the pursuit of pleasure, while Saturn asks for a bit of detachment, especially dealing with intimate and financial situations. Handle yourself with wisdom and gain a deeper connection to others. This will be very important as Mars begins his long retrograde period in your 12th house of limitations. Your desire nature and actions may come into review. So measure your desires with the feedbacks that others have given to you and See if you can use your energy in an inward manner. Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and this is my story. If you are a spiritual seeker, it may help you on your journey. I believe your spiritual development is as important as your religion. If you look at Christianity, it focuses on the life of Jesus. But Jesus was never a Christian. He was Jewish. If this thought intrigues you, you'll enjoy my new book, Light from Water, Freeing Jesus. It's available on Amazon.com and through fine bookstores. And it may help you on your spiritual journey. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like this video, subscribe, and ring the little bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you'd like to arrange a private psychic and spiritual reading with astrology, just go to my website, internetpsychicreadings.com or professorastrology.com.